Hello everyone and welcome to my daily report market analysis of videos with me Richard Perry market analyst at Hantech on Monday 25th of November. Um, risk appetite has had a bit of a boost today. We saw over the weekend China moving to try and protect IP rights and that is um, a fairly important um, negotiating uh, point for the US um, that they are trying to push through um, with regards to this trade dispute uh, or trade negotiations with China. So that seems a positive and we saw um, comments from a US official, not necessarily um, all that high ranking, but um, his uh, national security advisor Robert O'Brien suggested that um, a trade, um, a phase one part of the agreement could be um, agreed this year. So that is a positive and markets have taken that as a bit of a boost in the arm today. And we can see that broadly across markets really where you've got equity markets all higher, you've got the S&P 500, um, sorry, uh, US futures up sort of 0.2, 0.3%. Um, look at this, uh, the positive risk appetite coming through there on the uh, commodity currencies. Dollar doing all right generally, um, yen underperformance, uh, and you can see that through treasury yields, which has ticked slightly higher today, um, helping to sort of uh, generate that gold corrective move that we've seen in the past few days, this sort of move out of uh, safe havens into more um, higher risk elements of the market and that has sort of played out there. We've also got sterling which is strong today. Sterling coming on the back of uh, the Conservative Party manifesto at the weekend um, putting an emphasis on getting Brexit um, or pushing Brexit forward anyway pretty much as soon as they would get into um, government if that were to be the case on the uh, election on the 12th of December. So uh, pushing forward quickly with uh, the Brexit process would be sterling positive and that's where we've seen sterling rebounding today. Conservatives are around about sort of 10% um, lead over the Labour Party in the polls which would give them a majority. So that would be a, a positive scene for the market there if that were to be the final result. Uh, with regards to oil as well, oil sort of moved strongly higher last week um, on a bit of a spiky week actually, you can see that. A um, little bit of a tick higher today, nothing too decisive yet, but it uh, still seems as though rallies are a chance to, so uh, corrective moves are a chance to buy on uh, on oil. Now we've got the um, data points today, nothing really on the calendar other than the German IFO data, the IFO um, business climate pretty much in line with expectations on business climate, also current conditions, slight miss on the expectations component, but uh, up from last month at uh, 91 spot, uh, sorry, 92 spot one. And you can see that through the, the, um, the fact that this uh, EFO data is starting to sort of bottom out potentially there uh, on the expectations. Um, and also the uh, business climate. So it's a, it's a signs of um, a slight improvement and that to be honest is the only real data to look out for today. So my chart of the day is Aussie Yen. Now we look at risk appetite quite a lot and uh, Aussie Yen is a pretty good depiction of risk appetite. And you can see that through the last couple of weeks where risk um, sort of markets uh, or the Yen has been just sort of outperforming isn't it and dragging Aussie Yen lower but it's interesting that we've started to see a bit of a tick higher in the last session or so. Uh, on us again, bit of a stabilisation at least, and that comes around these neutral areas on these momentum indicators. And that D lines back around neutral, RSI holding up above 40, and uh, stochastics a little bit less uh, positive there. But again, today's early tick higher is holding on to this uptrend, and you've got this pivot line of the past couple of months as well, and that comes in around 73.35. So 73.35, 73.50 um, being Thursday's low. You've got this uptrend coming in around that level as well today. So it's a, a pretty good um, basis of support around that 73.30 area, 73.50 as the market just picks higher today. And you can see that starting to sort of turn around a little bit with the hourly RSI starting to push into the 60s. MACD lies above neutral, stochastics looking more positive. So if it can start to form these higher lows and start to build higher, then it can test that 74, 30 level of resistance that uh, we've seen in the past week or so. And uh, again, that is a pivot line. 
74.30 in the past two weeks, that is a pivot line. And then 74.50 and move above that would really generate some upside recovery momentum. So it's uh, an improvement that we've slightly seen coming through, not decisive yet, and uh, certainly is something to watch. But given the, the technicals are holding in terms of the, um, the recovery since August, I think it's looking on the right track for now. So I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos and go to our website to sign up for our webinars.